In the GCC. In the GCC. Ooh. Welcome one, one back the to the Love of Dubai show. We're joined by one of the most inspirational guests we've had before, a great friend of Love of Dubai. He's an entrepreneur and founder of Transform Your Body, fitness expert and body transformation coach who goes beyond the extra mile for success. It's Yasser Khan. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Be the excited. man who is so high in demand in, I think, all of the UAE right now. If you want a transformation, like you think Yasser Khan instantly. Facts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, uh, I mean, I can't say enough because um, I was here last time and I'm here again. And now this time it's with much bigger news and better news. So, so yeah, all I can say, I'm very grateful and very thankful for all the clients who have joined me, the people who put so much efforts in doing, you know, all that transformation. Um, not just uh, just the clients, but my team, people like you who have... Uh, Um, acknowledged the hard work and appreciated the hard work and uh, I mean like it's been 20 years though but you know like now it's coming um, taking the shape mm-hmm. yeah so we are hosting a really fun competition all thanks to you where five lucky winners get one month free membership uh, at your gym that's going to be like yes. the biggest in the region right one of the biggest yes one of the biggest in the GCC region and you can also attend foundation program mind coaching with Yasser Khan for uh, 90 minutes so if you want to win you can just like the like the video wherever and tag someone yes. ASAP like tag and share and of course like that's you guys winning so do we get invited down <laughs> definitely of course we have i mean when i say it's a gym trust me it's not just a gym we have a lot there we have paddle court tennis court uh, boxing healthy uh, eating place like a tyf transform your food restaurant and much more i'm working on uh, creating something very extraordinary once it's ready you will see We, we want to get into everything in the gym, yeah. but we basically had Yasser, I think it was last year. Last year, yeah. Last year we had him on the show, and I want to give people a bit of a background about you if, if they miss the show. Yeah. Um, so, like, some of the key things that I think stood out to everyone from that interview that we had with you was, like, you know, your training routine, rate, routine started at 13. Yeah. Um, you were, you know, it was like... You were in a boarding school type situation yeah. and you would have a bell, a bell, and then a belt to get you out of bed. Like that's yes. been your routine forever. Yeah. Can you give people uh, a summary of your background and how you got to where you are? Um, sure. First of all, I would say that, uh, uh, you know, n- everything happens for a reason. So earlier in my teenage, I used to blame everyone and I used to cry about all the situations, including my parents to the society and the, everything what was there. Uh, but then later on when I realized that how different I am than others and then I got to know that it's because the kind of upbringing I had and the kind of situations I have faced. So uh, I was I was sent to mother's side at the age of four and I was there in different mother's house from the age of four till 13 and those different mother's house were like very hardcore. So mother's side is a, you know, like it's a boarding school uh, kind of a thing but I've never been to school or never been to college like a Uh, you know, like the normal education. Uh-huh. So, yeah, everything, I mean, when I speak English and when I talk to people and the, the way I deal with people, it's basically is from my own experiences in life and never been taught, like, proper, properly. So everything I have learned on the go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever the requirement was and wherever I struggle. And that became my second nature, that I know my shortcomings. I know where I make mistakes and where I go wrong. And I realize very fast. because that's the only way I can move forward. And I cannot show someone that, see, look at this, it's my degree, or this is my certificate, but uh, then I can be lazy. I can say, okay, fine, once I have achieved it, but life is about every day. It's not like once you have, you know, you have been really good and not every day. I feel like we're getting some life lessons right now. Yeah. <laughs> that was an extraordinary, um, like, n- extraordinary upbringing, but do you yeah. think that's something you would, uh, like, have your kids go through as well? Uh, I think this is one thing that when, you know, when anyone who have been through this kind of hardship, they would never want their kids to be like that. Uh, but I have realized, because I think a lot, I'm a deep thinker, uh, that you cannot decide any kind of situation for people. Uh, in today's time, when parents save a lot of money and work so hard, extra hard, and try to give a better life to their kids, but they don't, they're not giving that because they're, because it's, it's a process of life. Um, you cannot stop um, a caterpillar and all the hardships to when 
uh, you know, the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly. It's a very difficult process. Mm -hmm. But if you try that, the, uh, the caterpillar will never become a butterfly. It will never have the wings or never be able to fly. So mm -hmm. it's a process. And as I said, like you cannot pre-decide it, you cannot read a book about it, and you cannot follow someone's footsteps. You have to live through it, and you have to be very free in this. Mm -hmm. And that's what, the more I'm growing, uh, the more I'm realizing the process of life. Be flexible in life. Uh, be flexible, just process. And because everything, whatever you put in your mind, that becomes a seed and it grows. Um, so be very careful what kind of information you're uh, you're taking because it will process and it will start growing in you. So decide your goals and then align everything accordingly, whether it comes to the people you meet, the kind of shows you watch or the books you read, um, the places you visit, Everything, the music you listen, everything, the colors, everything is adding more and more to your uh, bigger goal. That's that's so interesting. And it was something that we actually wanted to ask was like, how important are your friends and the people you align yourself with? For example, my friends like to brunch at the weekend. I like to brunch <coughs> for like a minimal amount. But like, yeah. how important is it to align myself with people who kind of, like, I guess, life a life I aspire to have? Yeah. It's, it's very important. I mean, surroundings for me is, is everything. I left my... So first of all, I never lived at one place in my young age, like my, while I was growing. After the 13, when I started working, I started working as a... As a uh, I started selling milk and working as a, at a bookstall. And then I moved to different cities just from 16, 17 and moved from one place to another constantly, never stopped. So all I realized that... Uh, Friends are very important, the surroundings are very important, but you can pick and choose. You're not like, uh, some people get stuck with the friends and the kind of, uh, you know, like all the things they're dealing with, uh, but they don't realize that you cannot stop someone doing something. You can always influence them or inspire them, but you mm. cannot like hold someone, don't do this anymore. Mm. It will never, but if you're not liking it, just... I would say like change. move away, change from mm. there. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. But you cannot because it's inside you. I always um, tell people that you never lose a game of, of chess because someone else is playing better. Mm. Because you are not playing good enough, that's why you're losing. It's not the other that's person who's harsh better truth. Than you. Wow. <laughs> many truth bombs and it's just been five minutes into five minutes into this interview so I want to ask like with your upbringing everything that you got that you've been through you came to Dubai and then you started your journey with fitness became a personal trainer so what got uh, did you plan to train like you know did you always want to become a celebrity trainer or is that something that just happened was a part of the process um, I never decided anything that what I, I you know what kind of a trainer I wanted to become. Mm -hmm. I just love training from the very first day when I started training. I think I was sore and I was uh, in fever for two, three weeks, I think, mm -hmm. when, I, when I was 13 years old because it gave me such a pump and the, you know, the blood flow that I forgot all my worries and all my anxiety and everything. Because, because in the end, anxiety, depression, everything is related to your hormones, right? So when you train, when you work, work really hard, you, your brain, so suppose if you have pain here, But if you get more pain this side, your brain will forget this pain mm. and it will start focusing on this pain. So instead of other people gives you pain, which people think that so-called it's coming from outside, but it's internal, then why don't you give yourself enough pain that you start focusing more on your growth instead of others? But are you saying then working out is pain? Yes, it is. <laughs> I think I feel like no pain, no gain. I, I think everything is painful. Nothing. Uh, that's that's one thing in today's generation. People should stop thinking cons completely that anything is going to be easy or anything is going to be simple or like chill out. That's why it's called workout. Mm. You're not you're not a, you're not chilling out. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's jump into the big news. So it is super exciting to be here with you today, announcing uh, like the biggest gym in the GCC. Yes, it is. Wow. That's yeah, and incredible. It's, and it's like a dream come true because I have I've been waiting for this day over a decade. I've started training 20 years ago and over a decade I've been trying to open a gym. Um, I have never compromised, you know, what I, what I want um, and how I want it. I have gone through a lot of hardships because I did not have my own place because it's many people I have seen failing, many companies failing in front of my eyes, yet I dare to, you know, do the same thing but in much bigger way. 
And today we have one of the biggest place. And trust me, as I said, like it's not just a gym, it's much more. We have got the best of the best equipment just from uh, made in Italy, um, all the way from Italy, Panata. They are like the best equipments and we have the designers designed these equipments. Pina Farina, the Ferrari designer. So I, yeah, it, oh, wow. I went all the way there. I spent, uh, you know, like a couple of weeks and customized the equipments and how I want it, how it's going to look like. And they are just, so another news is this last night they arrived and they are assembling right now. So on your stories. Yeah, so thank cool. you. <laughs> oh my God, it's all coming together. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So what all is this gym going to hold being the biggest <clears throat> of its kind in the region? Uh, see, gym, I would say like gym is a place where now I can work the way I want it, the way I could not 100%, but now I can. I've got the huge team and as I said, like foundation, reset programs, for, especially for your mind coaching. We are going to have every age group. We are going to cover like from the kids, especially because I want the kids to have a leadership program and leadership will involve a lot of fitness along with just the mind coaching mm -hmm. and changing their habits. And uh, for, for we have special female area, just, you know, like the females who uh, they are not ready to train with outside. I mean, with the guys, they can train separately. We have got professional boxing area, like a professional boxing Huge. ring, um, punching bags. We have got one of the biggest, I would say, because I have seen almost every single gym in Dubai um, and in the world also. So we have got one of the biggest uh, studio and the way I'm designing it is going to be used for dance, Zumba, Pilates, all kind of stuff. Yeah, we can take like 70 to 80 Ooh, people over there. It's just um, huge. It's mammoth. And coming from a fitness background, yes. is it scary jumping into the business world? And, and, and what do you see as key to business success? It is scary. That's why I love it. Because if it's not scary, I'm not going to do something new. It is very much scary. Mm. And uh, I mean, I am... I'm scared every time. I'm nervous every single time, and that's my that has become my second nature. I don't remember if I have ever succeeded, if I have ever done anything good when I was not nervous. I mean, like so. This is this is how you're supposed to feel because you're breaking your own limits, and it's your mind creates your limit because you have seen other people doing it. So this is you set your limit. So if you want to break that, if you want to go beyond that. It's going to make you nervous. Such a great mind flip in terms of uh, how you perceive things and yeah. to make to make nerves okay. That's helpful. I want to ask, so like you make so many reels that are also creative ones, interesting ones, ones that I watch over and over and over and over again. So you have a creative side, you have a business side, you have a fitness side. I mean, like, explain. Uh, so basically, as I have, I have, I have done a television a reality show on MTV in, uh, in India, Spritz Villa. Oh. I've been on the cover page of uh, many magazines and fitness magazines. I have had a background of, uh, I've learned acting as well. There was a time when I was training many celebrities in, uh, in Bombay. So I got a chance to learn acting. And that's why I could act in my funny videos where Mr. X, you know, I am playing the same part of my clients because, you know, not many people will would agree to play such parts. So I yeah. decide to like, let me do it mm -hmm. and let me teach people the lesson or let me teach them like how they can benefit from such acts. And but don't forget that I have a great team. I have uh, every area, whatever you have just mentioned, I have team for, you know, pe I've got people to support me. I've got people to help me. Mm. Uh, just like I feel like Love in Dubai is, is a part of, you know, my growth also. It's a team itself because uh, even a little bit wherever I you, you help me, I found it like, you know, uh, people always come in your life. They add that puzzle, value. Yeah, mm -hmm. the value, and then you become bigger and better. Amazing. So the gym will be a sum of many people, I guess. Yes. How involved will you be on a day to day? So if I want to go to Zumba, Simran and I, we're going to rock up. Will we see yeah. you there? Are you going to be kind of training people, continuing your transformation programs in the gym? I will be there. So uh, I'm going to live there, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what was coming. Yeah. With that. I'm, I'm going to live there, basically, because I cannot, uh, I cannot spend two hours commuting from gym to home. or finding places to go. I don't want to, I have got everything inside that, uh, whatever I required, and if anything is not there. Like we have retail shops also. We have got clothing, supplements, uh, what you name it is there. And whatever I want, then I can, I can get it. Okay. But uh, yes, I will be involved. The whole program is designed by me especially. 
Uh, I've got like now managers for every area to look after, but uh, now we are working on creating the system, the stronger system, so that I can, um, you know, like there will be a big screen in my office where I can see everything up and down, whatever the numbers are there. Mm. Um, usually, just for an example, usually people have in every gym, so this is another secret I can share. If it's okay, if even other people want to take it, but it will help them. So usually when you go to gym, you have the access card where you, when you enter, right? Mm. But I want to know when you exit also. Because you can't tell me like you didn't do your cardio or you just trained for one hour. Or you say like, yeah, yeah I that was in the gym. Exact. Yeah. So I want like, I want the enter and the exit time uh, of the gym. But there are many places where you don't need to use that card. Mm. But especially the gym area, you have to. Oh, okay, okay. So you can't be like sitting in the coffee shop and say like, I was there three hours. I work out well, three hours. No, matters. you don't work out three I hours. I see a lot of issues with that. Yeah. Only because like, what if you lose your card? What if you put it somewhere and you're... Uh, Okay, there, will be, there will be people will always be to help you. Yeah, oh, okay, there will okay. always be people to help you. You okay. just need to tell your number. You just need to tell your name. I mean, receptionists will be there. They would know you That's by your name. It's a semi way of keep making people accountable. Yeah. So I want to ask you, how effective is EMS? And how effective <coughs> is Pilates? And how effective is Zumba? And how effective is aerobics? That's it. Wow. <laughs> All of them are effective. I, would, I, I don't think I have ever said in my life that uh, no movement of your body is not effective. Okay. Everything is effective if you're moving your body. But the only thing is consistency. Yeah. Mm. So there are two things. Doesn't matter what kind of movement you're doing. All are good. Second, how consistent you are. That's the second thing. And the person, now in today's time, people don't do it alone. They always have a coach, trainer. How consistent that person is. So if someone like me, if I'm doing the same thing over a period of like two decades, then you know the consistency. Yeah. If someone who is just like doing the course right now and coming in the business and trying to do, you know, let's see if I can make money out of it, then, then you know the answer. So mm. you don't want to put your, yourself in someone's hand who is just trying to do a, a course after... succeeding or failing in 10,000 things. Now, just to see, because this is trendy right now. So there is no trend. I started when there was no, in my town, there was no such profession called personal training or uh, the coaches. So I, I flew all the way to Bombay and did my course after five years of working as a trainer. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We need to be consistent. We need the people we work with to be consistent to yes. make sure that we stay because consistent. Because it's, it's, it's your, uh, you know, what you call it, the energy. Yeah. Because you, if you are spending one hour, three times a week or four times a week with someone, what kind of a person he is mm. or she is? You need, to, you need to understand because the first thing, suppose if you train first thing in the morning, because that will, that will set a tone of voice of the day, right? Now, if the person is nagging and crying and complaining and talking about other people, that's what you are going to do the rest of the day. Mm. Why you want that? You want someone who's like encouraging, man, I have achieved... And, Sharing someone about you, something about you or something about himself or herself. Like, I have achieved this. These are my achievements. This is what I did. Yeah, that, last night that was very difficult, but I overcame. This, this happened to me, but, you know, like, I, I am here and still standing. Mm -hmm. So things like that, because that will set a tone of voice in your head. And throughout the day, you will see the same color. There you go, That's guys. So that is the motivation we need to start the day. If you want to be one of the first people to join Yasser at TYB Gym, get tagging, and we're going to announce the winners later on today. But a huge congratulations, and thank you thank so you. much for thank joining us on so the show much. today. Woo! Thank you. Guys, it's a pleasure. that is it. Goodbye from me. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Goodbye from me. Thank you.